like to welcome everybody to uh, the Burlington Chamber of Commerce Business After Five. Uh, thank you all for making the difficult choice between the showcase and the, uh, the golf after five. I'd like to extend a uh, special welcome to our guests this evening. Our guests are those in uh, blue name tags. If you just raise your hand, blue name tag. And our new members as well. New members in the green name tags. Fantastic. And I should just mention our ambassadors who will be circling the room have got uh, a little white uh, emblem on it. And we're our ambassadors tonight. Ambassadors, if you could raise your hand. Okay, a couple of ambassadors around. If you're looking for a direction or what to do or who to speak to, um, seek out some of the ambassadors. I'd just like to acknowledge our uh, dignitaries here with us this evening. We have uh, Jack Dennison, Councillor Jack Dennison. Where's Jack? Has he left already? Left. He left. There we go. And Councillor Rick Golding. There's Rick in the back there. And Councillor Carol D'Amelio, right there in front. And we also have some past chairs with us uh, this evening. We have Rick Burgess. There's Rick at the back of the room there. Uh, Penny McKenzie. There's Penny. Uh, Bruce McDougall, right there in front. And Rosalind Phillips. Where's Rosalind? Somewhere. In the back. There she is. If I could just uh, have your attention again, folks, while I introduce our host for this evening, who's graciously uh, held the uh, showcase for us. So obviously we're at the Waterfront Hotel, and uh, with that I'd like to introduce uh, manager Jason Stoner. Jason. The, uh, the uh, best news of the night is that uh, there'll be another one of these next week. <laughs> and why I say that is because every year when you folks are coming, I seem to get something new done around the hotel. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> new lobby finished about two hours ago, so I hope you're enjoying it and hope you're taking part. Um, new bedroom products, new boardroom products all open for you to see. It's so very exciting. Um, thank you for coming here. Thank you to all the staff uh, for all the hard work they did. To our partner, Marquee Gardens, for the food and the beverage efforts tonight. Um, our other partner, Beaver Bulldog, has some very exciting stuff to see up in the restaurant. Uh, you've all been invited back there uh, afterwards. Uh, our ownership, our local ownership, uh, Brand Core Hospitality, has eight hotels, um, including Pinestone Resort, which also has chamber discounts or chamber member discounts. Um, Sheridan, Hamilton, London, Sudbury, North Bay. <laughs> and our regional director of operations, Peter Tosh, is here uh, to say hello. And, uh, Yep, yes. Thanks, Jason. Uh, yes, just wanted to again welcome you all here. Thank you for uh, for coming, and we're happy to showcase our hotel. We're actually doing tours. Those that haven't uh, seen the hotel, of course, Jason probably already told you, but I just snuck in uh, to listen. And uh, white duvets, pull top mattresses, free hot breakfast. That's what we do. And you can see we're kind of moving on the boutique style hotel here. That's kind of what we're what we're working towards. So lots more work going on. Uh, you know, next week you come, there'll be more changes. All all good. And um, and uh, thank you for being here. And we have a list of all of our eight hotels, which we're responsible for uh, at the landing on the way up to uh, Beaver and Bulldog. I'm sure everyone's going to sneak up there later because uh, I think there's a ticket stashed in your uh, your your uh, registration package. So thank you for coming, and let's uh, do a draw here. And this is actually for that Pine Stone Resort that I was just talking about, 260 acres. Let me just see what sales and marketing put together here. It's a two-night getaway. Uh, the resort is in Halliburton, Missouri, which is two and a half hours from here, so it's actually a 15 to drive. And um, we'll just uh, get this together for, for the draw. Can I get the thing? Art Brenelow. Whoa. 